Episode 56 IG September 2, 2023 In Ireland 1300 people per year die due to burning peat and wood. Ireland. Fact find, do more than a thousand people die per year in Ireland due to burning solid fuels? The journal. Peat and wood usage contributed to up to 70% of the particulate matter in the air in times when air pollution exceeded appropriate standards. Citing the EEA figure, the EPA said, fine particulate matter from the burning of solid fuel remains the biggest contributor to poor air quality in Ireland, responsible for an estimated 1,300 premature deaths per year. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. Fact find, do more than a thousand people die per year in Ireland due to burning solid fuels? The Farmers Alliance, which says it will run as a political party, mocked claims made by a Green minister during a debate on turf. One tweet showed a more-than-year-old clip from Virgin Media's The Tonight Show which featured Pippa Hackett, a Green Party senator and Minister of State for Land Use and Biodiversity in the Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine. People with chronic respiratory diseases do not have time, Hackett says to suggestions that turf burning would die out in time anyway as new generations of people lose interest in cutting it. We have to get back to the point, over a thousand people a year are dying because of solid fuel burning. That is one of the most dangerous pollutants in our air. The Green Minister actually claims that more than 1,000 people a year are dying because of solid fuel burning. Is smoke from turf unhealthy? Yes. The journal has covered this in a previous fact check. When a solid fuel-like turf is burned, it leaves behind some unburnt particles that exit the fireplace or stove either through the chimney or directly into the room. This causes both indoor and outdoor particulate matter, PM, air pollution. These tiny particles remain suspended in the air and are inhaled by people. Illnesses impacted or exacerbated by air pollution include stroke, heart disease, lung disease, lung cancer, asthma and dementia, the Department of the Environment said in a release on its clear air strategy. Peat and wood usage contributed to up to 70% of the particulate matter in the air in times when air pollution exceeded appropriate standards, according to an Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, report. The use of solid fuels such as peat, coal and wood for home heating has been identified by EPA-funded research as the leading contributor to fine particulate matter concentrations in cities, towns and villages. Is it only a problem now? Turf has been burned across Ireland for centuries, but that does not imply that it is healthy any more than other centuries-old activities like smoking tobacco or drinking poison. It is also severely undermined by the fact that life expectancy in Ireland was under 40 less than two centuries ago. A recent study by the World Health Organization shows that air pollution is the greatest global threat to human health, though it poses a much bigger risk in Asia than in Ireland. Do more than 1,000 people die a year due to solid fuel burning? At least two reports have estimated that more than 1,000 people die per year as a result of particulate matter, PM, the type of pollution that is released by burning solid fuels. PM can be released in other ways too, however, and the reports do not generally say whether burning solid fuels alone was responsible for the deaths, however it should be noted burning solid fuels is one of the biggest causes of PM being released. For example, one report by TU Dublin and Queen's University Belfast, which was commissioned by the Irish Heart Foundation among others, found that approximately 1,700 premature deaths, 680 from cardiovascular disease, in the ROI, and 900, with 300 from cardiovascular disease, in NI are attributable to exposure to fine particulate air pollution. A European Environmental Agency, EEA, Report released ahead of Hackett's appearance on The Tonight Show said that the same type of pollution was responsible for 1,300 deaths annually in Ireland, that report was based on data from 2019. The following year's report, which looked at 2020, when COVID restrictions came into force, showed a drastic reduction in lives lost in Ireland due to air pollution, down to about 600. Citing the EEA figure, the EPA said, Fine particulate matter from the burning of solid fuel remains the biggest contributor to poor air quality in Ireland, responsible for an estimated 1,300 premature deaths per year. University College Cork, UCC, Emeritus Chemistry Professor John Sato told the Irish Examiner that the true figure for deaths caused by air pollution could be closer to 3,300. Is it better to burn turf briquettes than turf sods? Yes. While they are both made of peat, the smoke given off by turf, which is dried outside in the air, 
contains significantly more harmful substances than briquettes, which are mechanically dried and compressed. Turf sods released more than more than double the amount of particulate matter, PM, than briquettes. Articles like this one brings you clarity, transparency and balance so you can make well-informed decisions. We set up Fact Check in 2016. If you can, please consider setting up a monthly payment or making a once-off donation to keep news free to everyone. For the price of one cup of coffee each week you help us keep questioning, investigating, debunking, and informing. Support us learn more. World. Global air pollution is a major health risk, futurity. Futurity. If the world were to permanently reduce fine particulate pollution, PM 2.5, to meet the World Health Organization's guideline, the average person. World. Expert podcast, protection against harmful wildfire smoke, Globe Newswire. Globe Newswire. Understanding damaging particles in wildfire smoke, such as PM 2.5, the significance of the air quality index, AQI, in assessing air pollution levels. World. Addressing air pollution to safeguard lives, My Republica. My Republica, Nagaric Network. The presence of particulate matter, PM, 2.5, microscopic particles that infiltrate our respiratory systems and bloodstream, surpasses safe levels. World. Protection against harmful wildfire smoke, listen now. Hear from Campfell air filtration experts. Yahoo Finance. Understanding damaging particles in wildfire smoke, such as PM 2.5. The significance of the air quality index, AQI, in assessing air pollution. United States, PM 2.5 and human health. Intramural Papers of the Month, Environmental Factor, September 2023. Environmental Factor. Indoor wood burning may be linked to lung cancer in U.S. women various DNA damaging. Indoor wood burning from stoves and fireplaces is associated with the development of lung cancer among women in the U.S., according to researchers. California. Dennis Mattinson's weather, August 31, 2023, Sierra Wave. Sierra Wave. He specialized in the monitoring, measurement and movement of particulate matter 2.5 and 10 microns in size, known as PM 2.5 and PM 10. Idaho. Idaho fire restrictions lifted ahead of Labor Day weekend, Boise State Public Radio. Boise State Public Radio. A burning campfire. And, beginning Friday, all prohibitions will be lifted, including bans on portable charcoal, grills and wood-burning stoves. Iowa. Two fires reported at University of Iowa Lab in two days, The Gazette. The Gazette. A staff member working in the building smelled wood-burning and went outside to see smoke coming from behind the steel panels, according to A. Oklahoma. When will Hatch, Broadway 10 reopen after a fire this week? What we know, the Oklahoman. The Oklahoman. And working to push the remaining traces of acrid smoke from the space. Noise while using the restaurant's wood burning grill, Dixon said. India. Express view on pollution shortening Indian lives, a toll of air. The Indian Express. Last year, a Lancet study estimated that India lost 1.67 million people in 2019 to diseases caused by inhaling hazardous amounts of PM 2.5. India. Delhi NCR, trend of improving overall air quality continues, region registers best. Swarajya. This period in 2023 has also witnessed a remarkable reduction in daily average PM 2.5 and PM 10 concentrations over the last six years. India. Jharkhand residents lose nearly six years in life expectancy due to air pollution, report. The Times of India. Jharkhand's life expectancy could increase by 5.8 years if it manages to reduce PM 2.5 from 2021 concentration to the World Health Organization's. A letter sent on August 28, 2023 to the Assistant Attorney Generals threatening to sue the EPA over wood stove certification follows. Dear Assistant Attorney General. Attached is a letter that was sent to the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, NIAID, Director Dr. Jean Marazzo, former acting NIAID Director Dr. Hugh Auchincloss and National Institutes of Health, NIH, Director Dr. Lawrence Tabak regarding regulation and the ability to shut down PM 2.5 polluting indoor residential wood burners. PM 2.5 pollution is known to cause antibiotic resistance making infectious disease pandemics more likely and uncontrollable. The letter asks Dr. Marazzo to apply a parallel track to indoor residential wood-burning pollution in 2023.
This parallel track would include both EPA wood stove certification and a complaint-based system using Purple Air PM 2.5 monitor data collected from the yards of near neighbors of indoor residential wood burners. This would be a way to address the very real impact of PM 2.5 pollution which EPA wood stove certification fails to address. We propose that the use of purple air monitors would provide important data on PM 2.5 air pollution that is currently missing in the EPA wood stove certification. This proposal is modeled on the approach Dr. Anthony Fauci used in 1989 that allowed a parallel track of both the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, use of AZT for AIDS that had the unfortunate side effect of blindness along with a second drug, gancyclovir, that actually cured the blindness. An earlier letter sent to your office asked that you include a complaint-based system of regulating indoor residential wood burning using Purple Air PM 2.5 data in your suit against the EPA. Indoor residential wood burners are already ineffectively certified by the EPA. This violates the EPA's own. National Ambient Air Quality Standards, NOx, emission limits of 35 micrograms per cubic meter in a 24-hour period. Using data from Purple Air PM 2.5 monitors in the yards of near neighbors who complain of PM 2.5 from hyperlocalized indoor residential wood burners would provide the missing and important evidence of this type of air pollution. Currently if a near neighbor's complaint is made to a local health department, a complaint using federal NOx exceedance data is not considered as a basis for a complaint against neighboring indoor residential wood burning. It is also not considered as a basis for shutting down the wood-burning appliance when the indoor residential wood stove has been federally EPA certified. Lawsuits for nuisance are expensive and beyond the means of the average American and are not considered precedents in courts generally. Contacting state agencies to shut down polluting wood stove use that affects the health and lives of near neighbors has been unproductive because decisions made by the EPA determine the decisions made by state agencies. Although the scope of your lawsuit seems confined to asking the EPA to continue their wood stove certification program as is, albeit at a faster pace, we ask that you consider the intent behind asking the EPA to tighten their standards for wood stove certification on a regular basis. The intent of an environmental protection agency is to protect the environment. This has perhaps been narrowly construed to be protecting air, water and ground from contamination from industries only. But United States citizens should actually benefit from this environmental protection as well. Tightening wood stove standards on a regular basis should result in protecting the environment as well as protecting United States citizens from harm from the air, water, and ground. We believe that the EPA's responsibilities are inextricably connected with public health responsibilities of other government agencies such as NIID. Please try to accomplish something meaningful for the American people with this lawsuit by considering using a parallel track to include PM 2.5 data in future decisions about air quality standards. Although I am not your constituent, by commencing to sue a federal agency you are representing me as a citizen of the United States and in that sense as your constituent. Thank you, sent to Cody.doig at Alaska.gov Alaska Senior Assistant Attorney General Cody Doig. Jason.James at ILAG.gov Illinois Assistant Attorney General Jason James. Goldstein at OAG.state.md.us Maryland Special Assistant Attorney General Stephen Goldstein. Turner.Smith at Mass.gov Massachusetts Assistant Attorney General Turner Smith. Peter.Serdo at AG.state.mn.us Minnesota Special Assistant Attorney General Peter Serdo. Lisa.Morelli at Law.njoag.gov New Jersey Deputy Attorney General Lisa Morelli. Nicholas.Batino at ag.newyork.gov New York Assistant Attorney General Nicholas Batino. Paul.Garahan at doj.state.or.us Oregon Attorney in Charge Paul Garahan. Steve.Novick at doj.state.or.us Oregon Special Assistant Attorney General Steve Novick. Nick.Persompieri at vermont.gov Vermont Assistant Attorney General Nick Persompieri. Caroline.Cress at atg.wa.gov Washington Assistant Attorney General Caroline Cress. Chris.Writes at atg.wa.gov Washington Assistant Attorney General Chris Wrights. Jennifer at Skleanair.gov General Counsel, Puget Sound Clean Air Agency Jennifer A. Dold. Jean.Morazzo at NIH.gov Director of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases Jean Morazzo. Hugh.Auchincloss at NIH.gov January to July 2023 Acting Director of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases Hugh Auchincloss. Lawrence.Tabak at NIH.gov Director of the National Institutes of Health Lawrence Tabak.
https://rasipresidentswordpress.com/please attach pdf letter to nid director dr jean morazo to an email from you to jean morazo nih gov episode 56 gf july 19 2023 the ask request a complaint based system from 10 attorney generals suing the epa to give wood stove users certainty the ask emails of 3 nih officials jean.morazo at nih.gov Hugh.Ockenclaus at NIH.gov, Lawrence.Tabak at NIH.gov emails of 13 assistant attorney generals, deputy attorney generals and general counsel preparing to sue the EPA to provide clarity for indoor residential wood stove manufacturers, vendors, and users. Instead, the assistant attorneys general should ask for a PM 2.5 pollution complaint-based system in place of the failed wood stove certification program. The states involved are Alaska, Illinois, Maryland, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New Jersey, New York, Oregon, Vermont, and Washington, as well as the Puget Sound Clean Air Agency. A new icon has been added to the RAWSE President's website, which is now the nearest right icon. The icon is an ask that has already been described in episode 56 GB, description of the parties who should be at the table when deciding on safe wood stove emission limits and fence line measurements rather than wood stove certification, and emails to contact 10 deputy or assistant attorney generals and one general counsel, those PDFs are included at the icon link. Residents Against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates, chttps colon slash slash rossipresidents.wordpress.com and click on the nearest right icon for the ask. 1. Email PDF letters to three officials of the National Institutes of Health, NIH. And NAID HTTPS slash slash RASI President Tesword Priesscom slash please attach PDF letter to NIID Director DR Jean Morazo to an email from you to Jean Morazo NIH Gov slash the ask to email PDF letters to 13 Assistant Attorneys Generals, Deputy Attorney Generals and General Counsel HTTPS colon slash slash. Rossi President Tesword Priesscom slash please contact Attorneys General about August suit versus CPA asking for certainty for wood stove users Rossi asks for complaint based SIDM based on PM monitor data exceeding EP slash to the right of that 3. Barbie goes to the dating game HTTPS colon slash slash Rossi Presidents dot WordPress dot com slash 1 dash Barbie dash goes dash to dash the dash dating dash game to the right of that 4. Cookies that may contain rocks are recalled https colon slash slash rossipresidents.wordpress.com slash cookies dash that dash may dash contain dash rocks dash or dash. Recalled slash to the right of that five, the fox owns the forest card game https colon slash slash rossipresidents.wordpress.com slash the dash fox dash owns dash the dash forest dash card dash game dash tba then to the right of that, the latest months, six, September and seven. August and 8, July 2023, of PDFs of articles with URLs to search on https colon slash slash rossipresidents.wordpress.com slash 1-september-2023-pdfs-of-urls dash 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 https colon slash slash rossipresidents.wordpress.com slash 1-august-2023-pdfs-of-urls and https colon slash slash rossipresidents.wordpress.com slash 1-july-2023-pdfs-of-urls to the right. Of that, 9, stickers to hand out for Rosep, 10, flyers to hand out for Rosep, games such as 11, bingo for Rosep, 12, crosswords for Rosep, 13, PM 2.5 S Jeopardy free game HTTPS colon slash slash u2.be slash lnsg 32 pydnc 14 PM 2.5 free monopoly HTTPS colon slash slash u2.be slash cuck1 psqnq and endwood smoke monopoly 9e vending machines for PM 2.5 monitors and 15 icon links to 30 minute YouTube videos and Spotify podcasts as well as podcasts.google.com Castbox and Pocket Cast. Pocket Cast is only free on the phone app. Pocket Cast works on Apple phones. And below those icons, icon links to monthly URLs of PDFs from June 2023 to May 2022.